Hey, what is up guys? It is Born by the Brick here and I'm doing a Lego Star Wars review. Um, this is the uh, Shadow Troopers Battle Pack. So pretty much this is the Expanded Universe kind of set, um, even though Disney... Even though pretty much Expanded Universe stuff is non-canon anymore because of Disney, but apparently Shadow Troopers aren't because it has the Disney logo on it. Um, so, but that's up to for debate. Pretty much you get two Shadow Troopers and two uh, Imperial Shadow Tro uh, Imperial Shadow Guards. Uh, Shadow Troopers are pretty primarily usage for kind of like special ops kind of that stuff and then um, these guys are pretty much like imagine the Inquisitors from uh, Star Wars Rebels pretty much but kind of more darker toned um I do remember that but don't quote me on this that the Shadow Troopers or not Shadow Troopers but um the Shadow Guards uh, they were um, in Star Wars The Force Unleashed uh, I kind of like the game. Some people didn't, but pretty much, they were like one of the bad guys that uh, Galen Merrick fought against. So pretty much, yeah, those are the guys. Uh, you, so you get two of those, two of these, and then you get this um, speeder. Now, in my honest opinion, it's it's awesome. It's great. Um, I'll go over that in a minute, but first let's go over the figures first because everyone loves figures. Um, so you get two Shadow Troopers, uh, I believe they both have the same, um, printing, yeah. So they each get, uh, you know, the blasters, the, uh, the shooting blaster, the studge firing blasters. I honestly don't care for those, I prefer the regular blasters, but, you know, kids want more playability, so, yeah, that's great. Um... So yeah, they come with two, of course, you know how they go, they shoot like that, and I lost it, but anyways, you get two of them, I personally prefer these guys over, you know, the sh um, Shadow Guards, even though they have Sith Pikes, um, I'll go over that in a minute as well, so, this thing has insane detail in printing, like, you have no idea. Like, it's so crazy. I love the detail on this guy. Oops, let's see, it's kind of... There we go. So, this, like, it has leg printing, uh, torso printing. Uh, the printing on the helmet is just, uh, it's like awesome. The uh, silver mixed with the uh, dark gray, it's so awesome. It's like, you know, the mouthpiece and such. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm... I th I'm I positive that this it's the same mold as the uh, stormtroop rebel stormtrooper battle pack with the four stormtroopers, um, but I think the printing is different. I yeah, I, uh, I think the printing is different. But yeah, I I just love the design. Like this going Lego has done a great job. Like that this part right here, the that right there, it's. So, like, I remember, I noticed these little details from the movie and, you know, cosplayers and such, but it's awesome, like, the leg printing from the torso printing, you got the belt, um, the back printing, of course, let's take this helmet off, and then you get the regular, um, clone trooper, but I honestly say, like, it doesn't even matter anymore, they're not clone troopers, because they use these in the, um, uh, Old Republic Battle Pack, which I I got a couple of them. Those are pretty cool. I think some of them are over there. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, this is that's a Shadow Trooper for you. And let's go to the Imperial or the Imperial Shadow Guards. Or the, I'll just call them Shadow Guards. So Shadow Guards, uh, they're the disappointing uh, thing. I think this is the most disappointing part. Um, they did a great job, so pretty much what it is, is the weapon they get is a Sith Pike. It's a three-part uh, building process, so you got the uh, short uh, uh, stick, um, you got the telescope piece, and then you got the lightsaber colored crystal part. Um, it's not a crystal, but it's the light part of the lightsaber. Anyways, uh, printing on the front, um, since it's a... Uh, 
not red. It uses the opposite of the color for the head, which it usually is black. But this time it is just a blank red face. So that's okay. Let's put this up real quick. And so they come with a. Uh, they don't come with the new capes, the ones in the superhero sets. Uh, but they come with kind of like the more thicker capes. I prefer the older one or the newer ones, the softer ones. No back printing, no leg printing. Uh, I really. That's kind of like the downer of this set. Um. Yeah, even though they're kind of like the bat, the like the strong guys, eh, their printing isn't the best, and so that's why um, I don't really like it. But there is. So when I first got this set, and I looked at pictures of it online, I I thought this was gonna be like small. I thought it was I was gonna be disappointed in it, but actually, I'm. It really grows on me because, like. Um, it the design of it is so nice, like so clean, suave. You know, the black is just perfect. And these uh these two uh, slanted bricks right here, uh, they're put together one at the bottom, one at the top, and they connect together and work perfectly. Uh, it rem this reminds me of um some of the speeders in Star Wars: The Old Republic, the MMO. Uh, I I play it off sometimes, and this is one of the mounts I actually use. So I mean. Props to Lego for just nailing the speeder. I mean, I'm actually going to modify it a little. I'm not saying it's perfect, but they they did a really good job on this. Um, colors, transparent, um, and, you know, flick fire missiles at the bottom. So, yeah, you can put both figures on there, both of the Shadow Troopers. And it's just, I love this thing. Like, the design is simple yet elegant, you know. It it does it says a lot with what Lego can accomplish with just so few parts. Um, twelve ninety nine as the retail price. It's just amazing what you get with this set. Um, overall, I'm gonna give you my uh, final verdict. Uh, this is probably one of the sets you'll probably buy like after the Stormtrooper pack. So, pretty much, I'd say that this is one of the if you were get to if you're getting a small set, this is probably the one you want to go for, um, if not the Stormtrooper Battle Pack. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna for all of these uh, Shadow Troopers are perfect. They're they're done well. Printing is great. Uh, molds are are wonderful. The negative is uh, the blasters, but what can you do? Um, these ones, uh, the speeder is wonderful. It's brilliant. I'm actually gonna kind of like modify it myself and do a little changing up on it. And the biggest disappointment in the set are the, uh, Imperial Shadow Guards. So, uh, overall, it's a pretty good, it's a decent set. Um, there's, there's a lot to offer it, with it, I'll tell you that. Um, well, thanks guys for watching, and, uh, Happy building!